Welcome to the University Hospital Southampton ENT Department nasal treatment demonstration video. You've been asked to watch this video as part of the management of your sinus or nasal condition. This video will demonstrate the technique of nasal douching or rinsing, the technique for using nasal sprays, the technique of using nasal drops. There are many different nasal douches on the market. The one which we will demonstrate, sinus rinse, is manufactured by Nil Med Pharmaceuticals and is the preferred rinsing device used for sinus and nasal conditions in our department. Sinus rinse comes in a starter pack. This includes a sinus rinse bottle, the rinse nozzle and pre-packed rinse salt solutions. Nasal sprays will usually come in a bottle and attached nozzle. Nasal drops will usually contain a steroid that is used to treat your nasal condition. Nasal drops can come in preparations such as droppers or nasals. Nasal douching. The first step is to boil water in a kettle. This is then allowed to cool down to body temperature. The pre-boiled water is then used to fill the sinus rinse bottle up to the fill line. A pre-packed sachet is then opened and its contents emptied into the water bottle. The nozzle is then fastened. The sachet contents are dissolved into the water by placing your finger over the nozzle opening and gently shaking the bottle. Your nasal douche is now ready to use. To use the nasal douche, stand slightly over the sink as shown. Place the nozzle opening into one nostril to form a seal. Now hold your breath and gently squeeze the bottle to allow water to flow into one side of your nasal cavity. You will feel the water passing over the other side and out through the other nostril. Continue to douche one side until half the bottle is used and then repeat the other side. If you are using nasal spray or drops following the douche, it is important to allow 5 or 10 minutes to ensure that all the water has come out of the nose before applying these. Otherwise the drops or spray will be washed out with the water and be ineffective. Once you have completed the nasal douching, clean the bottle or nozzle using water and dish soap. Thoroughly rinse with water and then allow to dry at room temperature. On a regular basis, at the end of each day, you should sterilise the bottle or nozzle by placing a clean and dry bottle in the microwave and heating for 1-2 to two minutes on high power. This will disinfect the bottle or nozzle. Alternatively, you may choose to use sterilising tablets, for example Milton, which should be used as per manufacturer's instructions. You should replace the rinse bottle every two to three months. Nasal drops. To use nasal drops, first lie back on a bed or couch with your head slightly tipped over the edge. Now place the prescribed number of drops into each nostril. Maintain this position for one minute. If using nasals, one squeeze normally empties half of the contents of the nasal. Nasal sprays. To use, firstly prime the spray. Then, with your chin touching your chest, place the nozzle into one nostril, directing the nozzle head towards the ear. The nozzle is then firmly pressed to deliver the contents. Repeat for the other side. Once done, a gentle sniff can be undertaken. Do not direct the nozzle head towards the middle part of your nose as this could lead to ineffectual use and can also cause bleeding. This now ends the demonstration. Thank you for your attention.